Today, we're gonna use sidewalk chalk on that last piece of poster board scrap that I have left. I think we've gotten a lot of good use out of it. So you're gonna just need some sidewalk chalk, some hairspray, and glitter is always optional. <laughs> Make sure you have a safe space around you and your homework is done and let's get started. So the other day I went to Walmart and picked up some sidewalk chalk and I wanted to teach the kids how to draw a hopscotch and do hopscotch, but it's been too rainy. So today we're gonna use that sidewalk chalk and I'm gonna show you how to draw bubbles with chalk. And don't worry, hopscotch is coming as soon as we've got better weather. So I'm gonna just take a little Tupperware bowl. You can use a bottle top or a cap, anything you like. And I'm just gonna draw some circles. Today I'm gonna make them all the same size but you can make them big or small. So the thing with chalk is it's messy. So remember, you're gonna to have to definitely wash your hands a lot before and after. And it smudges a lot. So when it, you touch it, it can get really messy. So you wanna make sure when you're doing a bubble painting that you do not, um, that you, don't touch your painting a lot, or bubble painting, a chalk painting. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hand free draw a couple bubbles, but you don't have to, you could also trace. But I just wanna draw a couple myself. Okay, let's put one more over here. I have some varying sizes of bubbles. So next, we are gonna take a blue crayon or blue crayon, blue chalk, and we are just going to really color nice and hard on the side and then smear it with our finger. Color and smear. And they make expensive chalks and pastels that these, this works great with too. I picked Crayola because their pigment, which means color, is usually very, very good. We're working on black, so a light color can be hard to show up. And bubbles are light, they're clear. Okay, so next up, let's take a pink, and we will just do a little bit of pink line here. Same thing, just trace the circle. You can leave a little bit of white, why not? And the nice thing about chalk is it's not gonna dry. So I can do all of my drawing, and then I can do all of my smearing. So I could wash my hands in between. You could also, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you could use a paper towel or a Q-tip. Okay, and then let's do a yellow. We'll do a yellow side here. Can you grab me hairspray from the bathroom, honey? Because you sprayed on it. Okay, so now we'll smear in our yellow. And see, they're already taking great bubble shapes already. Now I'm gonna blow off some of my dust here. Now, if you realize when you blow off your dust, you've lost a little of your white bubble, you can go over little spots. But remember when you're looking at a bubble too, sometimes the edges sort of disappear because they're so see-through. All right, now we're going to do like we did on our painted bubbles and just do a little slow circle, a little half circle on each one. But the neat thing that we can do with chalk that we couldn't do as well with the paint is the smearing should be really fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do those three dots like we did on our painting before, but then after we do them, we're gonna smear them so it looks kind of like they're shining. All right. And there's something extra fun you could do with the sidewalk chalk and the little bit of leftover poster board that you've got. Also, if you do a chalk drawing you really love and you'd like to make it stay, you could always spray it with glitter. Then it will last forever. With glitter, I meant 
it was with hairspray. Of course, right now that makes it really bright, so you can't see it. But as it can, as it dries, you will definitely get to see your bubbles come through. We'll show you in a little bit, and you can always add a little bit of glitter if you need to. 